We're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jill Schlesinger from CBS Money Watch. What a ride yesterday here on Wall Street. A one almost 1,000 point drop at one point during the day. There was panic, there was anxiety, and then by the end of the day, some relief. But Jill, as we stand here today, people at home, the individual investors, folks who have their 401ks, are very concerned about what should they be acting today? Should they be acting just in case some, something like this happens again? You know, I used to tell my clients, don't focus on any one day. And that's the truth. The reality is, if you had a diversified portfolio yesterday, and I'm not talking about a wacky diversified, 40% stocks, 40% bonds, some cash and some gold, you didn't have a terrible day yesterday. Instead of being down three, three and a half percent, you were probably only down one and a half percent. Wow. That's the miracle of diversity. Diversification. With a diversified portfolio, you should be able to sleep pretty well at night. For the foreseeable future? I would say that. You know, look, every day is a, a wild ride down here. It's been thus forever. Mm -hmm. The reality is, though, if you're a long term investor, you know every single day can be crazy, but in the long term, you stick to your game plan, you should be doing quite well. People will be freaked out, though, to know some of the nuts and bolts <laughs> of what went wrong on Thursday. These millions of shares being traded at millisecond speeds. In sometimes at tiny little fractions of, 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 of share points. If you're sitting at home saying, geez, I just bought General Electric, should I be freaked out by this? No, you shouldn't be freaked out. And let's just remember that this is a trading error, maybe, this is a glitch, maybe. But we've had many, many days and years where we've had billion shares trading back and forth, and nothing like this has happened. So mm -hmm. to have a couple of these every few years, not crazy. But what's an individual investor really going to do? Mm -hmm. Don't focus on these glitches. Focus on your game plan. Here's your game plan. Every quarter, Pull that statement out. Stop relying on CNBC, CBS, anything else. You look and you say, what is my game plan? Go in there, rebalance, review. And you know when you rebalance your portfolio, it forces you to sell high and buy low. And it's an amazing <laughs> thing. All of a sudden, you're forced to do what we've been trying to do forever. Well, what a mantra, right? The uh, other thing about this, then, is from the standpoint of as an individual investor, you say, get your face away from the screen. Don't sit there every day and look at every little, every little hiccup of the, of the market have a little bit of, get a little more discreet distance. Absolutely. You know, my first job was down here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. My uncle was a specialist. And he turned to me and one day in a crazy day, and he said, you know, you should never make a big trading decision in the middle of a day like today. Mm -hmm. So if you're really thinking about making a decision, make it over the weekend. Make sure it fits in with your game plan. Jill, thanks so much, as always. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.